Welcome to Bloomsbury Inn and Historic Camden, the oldest inland city in South Carolina. Camden is known for its horses, history, and hospitality. Located on a quiet street in the heart of the historic district, Bloomsbury offers an unforgettable experience with perfect accommodations for tourists and business travelers alike. A great place to relax and unwind after a busy day. For more than 160 years, guests have had reason to visit and return time and time again. The Great Hall well expresses the beauty and charm of this gracious property. With uncompromising attention to detail, this private estate is routinely complimented for its continual restoration efforts. From crystal chandeliers to the original heart pine floors, you're invited to enjoy Old South architecture at its best. Having lived all around the world, Bruce and I are delighted to welcome the world into our home. We want you to be comfortable. We want you to thoroughly enjoy yourself. Rich with tradition, the ladies' parlor features Zubair paper on canvas, which was installed in 1930. The hunt room reflects the horse country surrounding Camden. If you love history, then you will love Bloomsbury. Whether we're discussing Mary Chestnut, famous Civil War dyers, or talking about the renovations to the house through successive owners, you will have the opportunity to walk through history and to explore the entire property. When it's time to retire, ascend the cantilevered staircase. There are four bedchambers to choose from, each distinctively decorated, with Wi-Fi access and, for your comfort, individual temperature controls. From robes and slippers to thick Turkish towels, luxury amenities are yours to enjoy. Rich with deep colors, the most masculine room, the large general chestnut chamber, has a king-size bed, a comfortable sitting area, and the perfect desk for penning your thoughts or completing a day's work. Named for the famous diarist, the 20 by 20 foot Mary Boykin Chestnut Chamber features a queen-sized rice bed. The roomy, vivid robin's egg blue bed chamber with a queen iron bed is named for Mary Boykin Chestnut's beloved nieces and nephews, the sweet Williams. The afternoon sun enlightens the garden beauty of the 20 by 14 Sally Chestnut Chamber. Sally was the original mistress of Bloomsbury. As with each of the four bedchambers, the private baths are adorned with very distinctive 1930 Italian tile and 1925 porcelains. Each guest begins the day with a gourmet breakfast that reflects the fine dining from the antebellum period. The delicious smells of breakfast beckon you to a meal representing a time of civility, charm, and culture of a bygone era. Fresh fruit, homemade breads, and jellies, along with a sweet or savory entree, is prepared daily. The afternoon social is an integral part of the Bloomsbury experience. Whether sitting on the very veranda that Sally enjoyed, or where Mary Boykin Chestnut gently rocked, or even if you're standing in the exact spot that General James Chestnut stood, one cannot escape the feeling of awe. Feel the calm seclusion as you stroll through the two acres of manicured gardens. Let the heirloom camellias, tea olives, and azaleas transport you in time to an era of formal gardens and high tea. You will arrive as guests, and having melted away the pressures of the day, depart as friends. As Mary Boykin Chestnut wrote in her diary, Bloomsbury, home again. <laughs>